A strong current of emotional anguish still runs through Bay Ridge, Brooklyn. You have a lot of lives uh, that were shattered forever here. It was one week ago Monday when a man with alleged mental health issues used a rented U-Haul truck to terrorize this and other neighborhoods, killing one person and injuring eight others. Council member Justin Brannon and a host of other elected officials and community leaders organized a vigil Monday evening to support the victims' families. This may not have been a coordinated act of terrorism, but what happened a week ago not too far from here, where we're standing right now, just a couple of feet from here, left truly a, tr a trail of terror through this neighborhood that is haunting a lot of people to this day. It was very hard. Mohammed Rakhchi's wife says he is out of a coma, but still has a long recovery ahead of him. She is caring for their three and seven year old children. Especially for the kids, they keep asking where's dad? When will he come back to home? That's really. Heart. Community leaders stressed the importance of relying on a diverse network of support in this melting pot of a neighborhood. My heart is warmed because I know when one of us is hurting, Bay Ridge comes together in support. Wayne Soar, the 62-year-old suspect, now faces murder and other criminal charges. Several attendees, including Mayor Eric Adams, used Soar's case as an opportunity to call for additional mental health services. There's a cultural impact where, you know, we suffer in silence, especially older Asian male. You know, I would really advocate and call for the city for to invest in more mental health services for older adults. This person was experiencing some real uh, mental health uh, issues that we must focus on and face to make sure our city is safe and I'm committed to doing so.